Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get hopping right into that trial thing and it's gonna get pretty philosophical and pretty mind-boggling if only because I like to talk myself in circles and second-guess myself a lot. But yes, anyway, I hope you all enjoy and the actual video will start in a moment. Okay, I will hope I paid enough attention. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. You don't I'm sound Brandon concerned. Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? No. No. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but <laughs> there's not much to it. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. Oh, yes, of course. You see, I was course. out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there. When all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Uh, I, I'm suspicious of all of you. Jedi Master Bollocks? He does look like, that does look like his name. Karth is like the most pushover pansy man ever. And he, but he looks like a baddie. When I saw Rickard come Did stalking in the, the shadows of the Dang. rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Alright, first I'm going to check the information that he gave me with the droid. Greetings, Padawan. You must be the one Master Baluk has Creepy to droid! help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. Overlord! I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Gold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Overlord, if I could pick Candorous, 100% I would. No joke. But my only option in this game is Karth. To romance. So that's who I have to pick. But if I... Ooh, I'm so mad they didn't give me Candorous. Like, I wanted to... He's like this bad A, big buff, angry guy who, like, would probably be really fun to go and, like, terrorize the galaxy with. Like... But, like, I don't know, maybe not, like, super angry. He's, like, toned that down a bit, but he's still, like, a bad A fighter. Like, yum yum. You know what I mean? Yum yum. Lemon Z, I only get one romance option in this game. Karth is the only option I have. Oh, death is my best friend. You can think of worse ways to go. Blah. A mod that restores the Juhani romance? Ooh, cause, cause that were, that was an option at one point. Ooh, I might try to look into that. I don't like mods that totally change, like that give me options that I wouldn't have had normally. But if the Juhani romance was an option. Then, and I don't like mods that change people's sexuality, um, but if Jahani was an option, and I could restore that, that would be awesome. Or <laughs> escape Candorous the Yum, I did. He's a sexy man. He's an older man. He's, like, sure of himself. He's, like, he has a beat around the bush. Like, Karth is, like, I have all this drama. And I'm, like, boy, grow up. <laughs> I ain't got time to deal with your man-baby problems. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this. How, what did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell about the planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cath hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago oh! to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Okay, I'll bet you this guy shot at an animal and it killed him. Um, or... Wait, no. So did he get shot in the back? I think he got shot in the back. 
and like one of these guys maybe came along later and used the blaster rifle to shoot him in the back to make it look like the other guy had committed murder. Even though that all they did, he just found the dead body out here. Uh, more questions later. I wanted Sorry, to ask about. I will be here to assist you. I wanted to ask about the guy who I just talked to. Hand in. Can I look at the body? Myself? Tell me your side of the story. He was shot from behind with a blaster. Maybe he, like, tripped. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. You're a racist. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Oh, I forgot! Lemonzy, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Lemonzy, I forgot he can't hear. Thank you! Oh, man, thank you. I totally forgot. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, uh... What's the word? Uh... Trans... Transit? D dictating? Writing down my dictation? I don't know. Tell me what happened, guy. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was Oh, so you... Eyes. Okay. So I shoot it and it drops. You idiot! I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison... You the never, woman. ever, ever shoot unless you can clearly see what you're shooting at. 101 gun law. Like, it's literally like... In, I think this is the first rule for, like, have, for owning a gun is like whenever you go out and hunt you have to have a clear line of sight you have to know what's behind your shot what's in front of your shot and you have to be able to see your target explicitly people just fire into the woods and that's how hunters get killed they're like oh i saw a movement in the trees and um and then and then people die and that's how i get shot at as an archaeologist because some 16 year old kids are out there with a brand new gun and he thinks it's the dopest thing ever and he's firing towards the freeway super dumb anyway not that i actually lived through that ever it's fine is there any other what? Why can't I double check this information with you? Very well. uh, How can I be a further? Okay, I have to ask you more questions. What did you see happen? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the <gasps> end. Liar! Master Liar! Came out here his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed lie! decision. Lie! Get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. Lie, lie! He said that he was running and he heard a shot and that's when he hit his emergency button the first time The second time he said that he ran over here after hearing the shot saw the body saw the guy coming out of the blaster And that's when he hit his emergency button He's a liar <laughs> Ask you something How else. How can I be a further assistance? Um, uh, did, I, did I ask him that? Uh, well, yeah, actually, yeah, I just okay. I know Master, I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed. How can I be? A uh, why were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. He I was just pooping. To be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> Meh. You're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? <gasps> no, of course not. <laughs> Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> this guy's a big, big fat liar. Saw two transport police the other day, and they were super armed, like more than normal police. And you were like, "Bro, there's so few. There's so few times in your life you've seen guns in person. It's super weird." Yeah, when I went to Paris, actually, that was the only place in Europe where there were like fully armed SWAT-like soldiers in the subways. 
and like with like dogs and everything and I was like that's kind of odd and people were like even in America we don't have like SWAT people walking around all over the place in like subways and stuff like it was kind of odd for me to see how can I be of further assistance um We... Of course, of course. Okay, we already. Okay, can I talk to you about this guy yet? Is there any other information? Yes. No! <gasps> You're a useless droid. So, what do you? What did you see happen? Well, I was out hunting Eria south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. I yep. shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eria in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder you must shot have him it himself because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine too. I want that back. You idiot. So, what do you want to know? Why are you out I here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot and Pow! It went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body, and the Eriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? Yeah, they're all lying! They're all lying! Oh, okay, they're transport police. They're trained to deal with terrorism in the subway, which is where it happens sometimes. Um, okay. Right. Is this useless info droid gonna help is me now? Is there any other information you need? Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Can I talk to you instead? A uh, coupon. Uh, tell me what happened. I will continue my investigation. I can't get the android to work. Is there any other? Very well. But I, there wasn't an option to ask them about the weapon. How can I be a further? <sighs> and well, when did you see I just happen, got here. Huh? I know it, Master Baloo. I hope that you'll. I want to ask you something How... else. Why are you was... out here? Yes, a healthy body. Room. Are you injured? Yeah. I want to ask you something How... else. Are you it... injured? Of that, course. There's nothing to ask. And like I've we eat a non dieta. What are you ma? I haven't left yet. Uh... Oh my gosh, I'm stuck on the body. Oh my gosh, Candace, move. They have balls on their head like Magmar. Okay, so do I just talk with him about the murder? I'm gonna discuss the murder. Alan said he was nearby in order to shot her and over only find Kala already dead. Ricker came out of the shadow of the rocks holding a blaster in his hands. Yep, saw one through the glare of the sun. It's possible that Rickard may have shot Kala accidentally and Handon may have found the body. Obviously one of these men is not telling us something. Where does the truth lie? I don't know. Oh, man. Rickard is lying about the sun being in his eyes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Next question. Uh... uh. Is there any other? Find out My about the body. Is there... Please. Is there... Is there... That's Thank really you. freaking annoying. I think it's glitched out. So, what... Well. So... Well, 
I should call. Right. Um, uh, I don't know. I think it's glitched. I can't. I, I don't know what to do. Question the droid about the relationship with Calder. Both come both the of it again. The both men have a reason to hate Calder. You can choose the other one you want. The only real difference is a minor change in the dialogue, but nothing important. Uh, I don't. I'm just gonna. I don't know. One of them has balls on his forehead and tentacles, but it's not hot. Uh huh. Oops. Huh? That's what I meant to do. What? Like, I don't. You don't think it's glitched? I don't know. <sighs> Stupid. Oh. Uh, I need to discuss the murder. Oh, well, for sure. Handon is lying. Oh. Fat people always lie. He's not even fat. Hang on. Well, none of these are the reasons I wanted to say. He, he said he pressed his emergency button at the wrong time. <laughs> Tell him that Rickard is lying about the sun. Okay. Rickard's lying. Um... Oh, that's right. It was no. That's right. It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. It was very cloudy this morning. If it had happened, as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. Seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This law doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. We should proceed to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about the relationship with the victim. Okay, now we're moving on. So I thought it was going to be something where I had to figure it all out and then go to him, but apparently I have to do it in bits and pieces. So, what do you want to know? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <gasps> he was a slime ball. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him, especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Why? Because you're gonna sleep with her? So... Um, why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. <laughs> Beauty in many forms, but tentacles isn't one of them. Yeah, I know, right? Fat people always lie? Like, what the heck? I ask you something else. I'm eating one of my chicken legs. So, what do you want to know? Um... Nothing right. more. Okay. How can I be a further assistant? Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one said you killed him yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Why Why are you guys so adamant that each other did it? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize hand on Bollock. Fat in Bioware worlds means simply not being ripped to heck. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, like he's, he's exactly the same body shape as everybody else. I'm gonna ask you something else. How can I be a further assistance? Mm, why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, 
Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Oh, now, there's I a hut here? I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. No one says you killed I'm him. I'm sorry, I'm... Of course. Okay, let's talk to the droid now. It's useless droid. Is there any other information you need? What can you tell me about Calder and Hendon? The Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Ah! Is there any other information you need? Um... So Hendon... Hendon's the guy who doesn't like speeders, but he rented a speeder. A hut? Pizza the hut! A hut is the thing that held Princess Leia, like, like, captive. Like, when you see the slave Leia outfit, there's usually the hut behind her. No, the hut looks like a giant pile of poo. It literally looks like a giant pile of poo. According to the municipal authorities near the Garen spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? So, the guy who didn't like speeders is actually was renting a speeder. These guys had business dealings that went wrong. Okay. Very well. Alright, now let's go have a chat. Oh. Uh. Yeah, with the hot bikini. Yes, he's the one who put the lay in the hot bikini. I want to discuss the murder. Yes, yes. Let's examine the relationship of each man with the victim. Yep, yep. They were business partners. Record seems to, according to Rickard, they got along quite well. On the surface, neither man seems to have a motive for killing Kander. Um, Handon is lying. Because he has rented a speeder with Cowler. It shows that he didn't fact know the victim. It's hardly counts as a motive for murder. Uh, if you're unable to do some facts in this case... Well, I was just telling you! Let me try something else. Um... You got kicked? What? Um. Oh. All right. Uh, the record is oh. lying. Oh yeah, and they didn't. They they had a fight for sure. They had a fight over business matters. Things get escalated violent. That's certainly a motive for murder. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. Okay, now we talk about the murder weapon. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read whatever that block text was. So, what do you want to know? I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna do it. What about the weapon found in the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always So you used. went hunting! I always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> that blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So. Uh, you thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between right. you. Right. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? What do you know about the weapon found in the body? That blaster was stolen from my Whoa! house last week. I never knew what happened to it. 
I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? You knew Calder better than you admit. You rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Why would you punch his face in? My wife. Slept <gasps> in my own bed while I was in the next room. What? But as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. What? It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Oh man. So wow. How did it, how did this guy not know that his wife was sleeping with someone else in the next room? Like what the heck? Like are your walls soundproof? This just turned yeah, this this yeah, why was he in the next room? Like what the heck? This just turned into fodder for Jerry Springer? Heck yeah, it did. How can I Uh Wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. Knock his block off, maybe sure, but not kill him. I'm not. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. You're an idiot! Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault. Uh huh. I was just out running. Okay. How can I. Uh... Okay. Of course. Oh. Alright. Kangaroos is the best. Yeah, I know, right? Here too, people. <laughs> is there any other information you need? Uh, is there a report of Handon's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information? Okay, so he didn't file a report. Tell me about the weapon. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? You let your dog out? What'd you miss? Levensy! It turned into Jerry Springer while you were away. Apparently the guy who died was sleeping with Handon's wife. And he's like, he was sleep he was sleeping with my wife while I was in the next room, no less. And we're all kind of wondering how he didn't hear his wife sleeping with somebody else in the next room. And Candorus said, Well, if you can't keep her, you don't deserve to have her. <laughs> Sex lies and blaster rifles. Stonesmith, I wanna make a video game called Sex Lies and Blaster Rifles, actually. Like, can I can we trademark that? The title of your sex tape? No, Levinzy! No! Not your sex tape. It's gonna be like a movie or a video game. Oh yeah, and the weapon that was killed that that was next to the body belonged to Handon, whose wife was sleeping with Candor, who died, and he didn't file a a a, a, a report for it being stolen. Yes, and the other guy has had shady shady business dealings with Calder. And Calder had his own wife, by the way. So I think what all these guys are doing is severely underestimating the women in their lives. Because <laughs> if Calder was cheating on his own wife, I guarantee you she might have wanted to kill him. And she could have very well done that. She may have, um, or like, or like, or like Cal or, or Handon's wife may have taken the blaster that was in their house that he said was missing and used it to kill, um, Candor. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely think, I definitely think the wives did it. The wives did it. Um, okay.
All right. Let's see. I'm gonna discuss the murder. Um. The blaster is Hannon's. He lied about it being stolen. We may need one final piece of the puzzle. There was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire at the information droid about it. Okay, cool, cool. Has the results gone back? Is there any other... Tell about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis... It's of one of the wives! Found ...on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. No! There was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Bye, Black Fem Geek! Are you serious? Very well. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Well, at least we know the blood does not belong to him, I guess. It didn't belong to the victim. It's surprising. The blood must belong to one of the suspects, but which one? I don't know! What do you mean? I think it's most likely Handon's blood, to be honest. Because um, he's holding his side while the other guy is just like hurt his, he's like limping on his leg. Oh, okay. Baluk chooses Handon? Oh, well, I'm gonna pick Handon anyway. <laughs> Why do I believe that? He's clutching his side. Haha! <laughs> 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 I was right! I was right! Hey, 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 what are you doing? You appear to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to your side. He just got stripped. Rickard killed Calder for cheating him in business while shooting Calder. He must have also shot Handon by accident. What?! Uh, I mean, uh, I think they're both guilty. I think they both were trying to kill him. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, this is tricky. All I, oh, I'm pretty sure that Handon lied about the emergency button, so I've been very suspicious of him from the get-go. No, I don't want to know. I saved earlier. <gasps> but look at it. He's trying to frame murder, Handon for a murder he didn't commit. Who is Richard? Richard is the business partner. I think it's Handon. I think Handon's the guilty one. Tong abu sha umino um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Calder was cheating. I have. I can leave now, then. Stay out of trouble. What? No! Tong abu sha umino? Wonga kumbis king balemuraya. This is creepy. No. If I'm going, I'm not going alone. You don't know what you've done. What do you mean? Look, I came out here, I admit. I knew it was both of them! So did Rickard. He must have thought it was called. I knew it was both of them! So I'm going to prison, but I shouldn't be going alone. Did you idiots have to let the slime ball go? We did know that Calder was cheating Rickard! I did! I came out here and killed Calder, but Rickard was here to do that too, and he shot me by mistake. 
Oh, come on. I knew it was both of them. Well, technically... Oh, oh, is that what you did? Okay. Thank you. Why did it fade to black and then come back for a second? I knew it was both of them. I should have gone with that, but I felt like that answer was cheating because it was like, it was like, you know, like the all of the above answer. It's kind of like a catch-all, but that's what it was because they both had good reason to kill him. But I think technically what happened though is that, um... Technically, we did right because the intent to murder isn't actually murder. So, um, Handon was the one who actually killed Kander, and the other guy was just trying, uh, Richard was just trying to kill Kander, and he didn't. He hurt Handon instead. He was trying to make you feel stupid so he, so he would be charged with attempted murder. Right, right. Anyway. Um, I guess I'll, maybe I'll reload. Uh, uh, field trial, just so I get the XP, like you said, maybe. Let's see. So I do need it. And no, I'm not interested, actually. And with that decision, I will cut it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. This was actually a really fun little quest. I liked it a lot. So despite me getting a little bit bamboozled, but I still, I still think I did pretty good. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.